Hello Nuggets, Spaz Monkey here with our Spleef Arena build contest video. Uh, we have our winners. It took a while to decide. Um, we had so many entries, uh, as you can see, and a lot of them were actually finished this time, and a lot of them, most of them were qualified. Everyone actually followed the rules, put their put their books on their builds and everything, and we were quite excited to go through all the different builds. Um, and oh my gosh, we had a really hard time deciding who our winners were. Uh, but we've narrowed it down to a top three with two honorable mentions. Um, so let's uh, let's get to it. Uh, number one, we've decided uh, is this ginormous build uh, built by Clownio. Um, it is a uh, it's a very big spleef arena. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out. But I I think uh, I think overall it's gonna play really well. Uh, it's got multiple floors. Uh, he went with a really neat uh, theme of Heaven vs. Hell, which is kind of cool. Um, and he used a lot of uh, players' names and everything in the, in the build with all these different things. So this will be the first floor everyone starts. Uh, the entire floor is going to be breakable, and uh, except for the pillars and the, the angels and protectors there. Let's drop down to the next floor, where we have our... Guardians, or the Enforcers, actually. Sorry. The Enforcers. Uh, this is the next floor. And he's got multiple floors, all with different themes as we go down. Ooh, there we go. Next floor here, which is all about love, as you can see, with all the different hearts on the floor. Flowers and beds and some other uh, uh, player references that play on the server. Um, a lot of different, a lot of different references here. We really liked Clownio's build. Just not only was the size really cool, a lot of the levels had different things, like the food level here with, with, uh, with all the different cookies and whatnot was uh, really neat. So that way you have some blocks to jump on while running around. And all the floor designs are actually really, really nice as well. And the spectator area was really detailed. <clears throat> uh, so much detail went into it. So this is going to be a really fun arena for. Uh, you know, when we stream, when we have a lot of people, especially. Uh, so this is going to be a good one to to have a, a nice, uh, lengthy game that's going to take a while to, to finish, which is always fun. And this is the final one, one of our favorite floors here, with the uh, cool sword designs and everything. And that's the final floor, so falling below this floor will knock you out. And if we go up, we can... Uh, show you the spectator area, although I do highly recommend checking all this out yourself. Um, you'll be able to fly around and poke through different areas. Oops, this is the spectator area here, so after you get knocked out, you'll you'll get to choose which side, heaven or hell, you want to uh, visit to uh, to go down. And it just, you just put a lot of detail into the build. That's, that's what we really liked about it the most, just tons and tons of detail. So <clears throat> you can uh, explore here, jump down, and find different areas to uh, spectate different levels, because there's so many different levels, of course. So you can watch the main level, you can go down and watch lower levels. So quite a lot to look at, which is kind of neat. Instead of just having a generic area just to sit and not do anything, you know, you could you could even just run around and look at all the other cool stuff that's here uh, while watching the game. So, and there's little entrances here so you can get in and out real quick. And of course, we'll fill in these holes before we put these arenas in. So that's first place, Clownio, congratulations. Uh, he'll be getting a $50 gift code for that. Uh, second place, do, 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 if I can find it. Place, where are you? Second place is over this way, I think. Maybe. I can find it, I promise. Second place, here we go. Ah, this lovely build right here. I don't know if there's a name to the build. Um, could be a name. Uh, Guy Cash, there we go. I don't know if that's how he pronounces it, but we'll say Guy Cash for good measure. Um, Guy Cash has built this with him and his son. Uh, they built it together, and, you know, at first it seems kind of really crazy on over the, all over the place when you first uh, get into the build, but... I'll tell you, just looking at it from an actual player standpoint, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of different things about it. Um, I really like the open holes of the top floor and the second floor because there's so many colors that blend. 
you actually have a hard time really seeing where <laughs> the floor ends and where it begins if you're not really paying attention, which is really neat. Um, and the ice and the soul sand is always a nice touch to trip up players. And then the second floor also has a lot of texture to it, which is really nice. Um, uh, I told some I told some people on the on the forums, you know, that having like extra blocks like this is really cool because you know it just gives you one extra little layer. Some players could stand here and then jump off, you know. And he also has some spots where it breaks down uh, right here. So a lot of a lot of different um, texturization to the second level here. And then you have the bottom level, which is all solid except for the corners, so you could fall off here. Uh, and this is all one big final spot to uh, to, to stand your ground here. But it's kind of neat because you could, you know, you could play a little tricksy and you could, you know, right off the bat, instead of battling, you could just jump down and you could start breaking away the floors underneath people. So that way the people underneath you, you could, you could break holes here and then try to get people to fall through. So a lot of different uh, ways to go about it. And uh, his spectator area is really nice, really simple, which uh, <clears throat> can go, uh, go a long way, you know, just being able to, to go through the the levels really quickly so you can just pop through you can watch the entire arena pretty much from any angle which is really nice and his winner's box was probably one of the coolest things uh, definitely the one of the best winner's boxes uh, we've seen this is where the winner will go after they've won they get their throne for the winner's throne to sit and hang out spectators can come by and see them if they wanted and there's all these little cool things to look around and see you see King Spleef. So we thought that was really cool. <clears throat> and that has earned Guy Cash second place and a $25 gift code. So congratulations to them. Uh, and we thought it was cool that he built it with his son as well. So that's that's also really neat. Now, third place. Third place is one that stuck out very well. Uh, for anybody who has watched or read Harry Potter, uh, this is a... There's Guy. She's like, yeah, okay. Don't wake her up. Um... This is a Quidditch arena from Harry Potter. Um, you know, me and Kai aren't like super Harry Potter crazy fans, but we do enjoy the books and the movies, so this was uh, cool to see. Um, but aside from being Harry Potter themed, uh, we really liked it as an arena. We weren't sure how it was going to play out as an arena, but, um, you know, the top floor seems pretty normal, just one layer. But on the edges here, you could jump down, and there's the bottom layer which I thought was really cool. He kind of made it all texturized, little hilly spots down here. Um, so you could theoretically come down here. You could actually break stuff. And then if the stairs are still here, you could... Oh, actually, no, I don't think you can climb back up. Okay, you can't climb back up. But, well, actually, you could. If you broke it, you could just break your way back up. So, uh, Or, you know, you could break all the stairs so people can't get back up. So there's a lot of different uh, things about it. So that's why this one really really stuck out because there's a lot of different strategies you could do. You could sit here and break all these. You can see there's supports underneath the field. So while somebody might break the blocks underneath you, uh, you might land on one of the supports and stay up. So there's a, there's a lot to it, which is really cool. And then you have the uh, stadium stands here, which he... Uh, oh, this was made by Fu Man Brew, by the way. Sorry, I didn't say that. Um, he, has a, he used the elevator system. So that way, when you're in here, you can stand in here and it's going to shoot. It's going to shoot you up. Just like this, or whoops, wouldn't help that I'm vanished, I suppose. Maybe that would help. Oh, I'll have to, I think, in creative. It, it'll work in the actual, uh, in the actual um, arena. It must be broken just because it's in creative, but that's okay. It was working earlier, so we'll get that working. But it, it, I tested it in the uh, our lobby in the spleef area there, and I know spectators can actually uh, get pushed up with the uh, with the pistons, so. <clears throat> and then his winter box was a really cool, uh, this might not be the final location of it, but he built a really neat uh, winner's trophy, Quidditch Cup. And that's where the winner will get to stay, and victory is yours. So definitely a, uh, <laughs> it's a port key, I didn't even see that, that's funny. Um, it's a Harry Potter reference, of course. So a uh, really cool build, I mean, that's uh, turned him a $10 gift code as third place, we really enjoyed it. Um, we think it's going to be really fun to play, uh, especially once we're able to start live streaming again. So we're pretty excited about that. Now, that's our top three. Uh, but we did have two other arenas that really, well, I'll, I'll tell you this. We really, like in past contests, we probably had like usually five to ten builds stand out uh, the most. And then we can usually narrow it down to five pretty easily and then go from there. But I'll tell you, we probably had about 20 builds that stood out immediately. 
And I think maybe we were able to narrow it down to 15 and then narrowing it down to down to five was really tough. We had a lot of good builds. I mean, <clears throat> uh, the prison build over there was really neat. Uh, Fizzy's arena was cool, but it was just really a, a bit too big, unfortunately. Um, there were so many good builds, but we did have two that we decided as an honorable mention. Uh, they will be featured, and they will also get uh, $5 gift codes. Uh, one of them is the Ice Hockey Arena, or Air Hockey, or whatever you want to call it. Um, this was built by Repix and XX Flame XX. Uh, this one stood out, you know, obviously being an air hockey table, which is really cool, but it's uh, it's pretty neat. You know, it's a little texturized with the pucks and the um, the little uh, or the puck and the handles, and uh, it's got multi levels, so you got two levels here. And the ice overall is kind of neat, just having all the you know all one layer of ice, you know, sliding around and bumping back and forth. So. And then it's cool because you can uh, you can see the winner up in the box there after they've won pretty easily. So uh, we felt like this earned an honorable mention. So we'll uh, we'll make sure they get a little five dollar gift code and uh, and their arena will be featured in the lobby as well. So we're gonna have a lot of sleeve arenas. It's gonna be it's gonna be mad. Uh, and also we also wanted to set as an honorable mention uh, Mr. Zr Frost uh, his UFO build. Now, at first glance, this build looks really weird, doesn't even look like a Spleef Arena, but the arena is actually just the UFO. Now, after learning it was just the UFO, we still thought, oh, that's kind of weird. But uh, in Frost's book, he described how he wants the entire ship breakable except for the cockpit, which is just above this level. And that got me thinking, you know, really, that's actually kind of a neat idea. Um, because now you've got a lot of different things you can do. You could run around, you could break the outer part and then climb on top of the ship. And then you could, you know, let people chase you, break blocks up here. Uh, you won't be able to break the cockpit because that's the winner's uh, area there. And if you fall or get knocked out, uh, you'll wind up in the village down below, which is cool. You know, you can see how he's got the little laser beam sucking the villager up, which we thought was really cool. And spectators can sit down here and they can watch as the ship gets destroyed and, uh, and the rest of the battlers uh, fight it out inside the ship. So... Even though it's only that one level and it's a very small area, uh, being able to climb around and destroy the entire outer edge is actually kind of a neat effect. So uh, we, we definitely wanted this to be an honorable mention and, uh, and you know, feature it inside of our Spleef Arena. So they'll also get a $5 gift code for that. So congrats to ZR Frost and congrats to all our winners. Thank you everyone for participating. We had a really good time with the contest here. Um, we normally put a big gap between contests, but we have a certain holiday coming up, wink wink, that we do contests for every year, so keep an eye out for information for that on the website, because uh, we're kind of excited and we're getting that started, so you might see that very soon, within a week, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, otherwise, thanks everyone for participating, we had a really fun time, a very difficult time uh, judging, thanks for everyone for entering. Uh, you'll have your trinkets in the lobby as well. So if you go to the lobby and you had a qualifying build, you'll have a spleef trinket. So you can go check that out. So thanks, everyone. Have a good night. We love your faces. Bye.